Hey guys, welcome back. It's time to take a look at the absolute, I don't even know what to call it, mess that is Beckett, BGS, the, the grading company. Yes, this is uh, not exactly Pokemon related, but it, I, I guess you can grade Pokemon cards with them, so we're going to cover it anyway. Um, we we had a video, I, I guess not too long ago, was it seven months ago? Uh, where there was this weird misunderstanding with marketing with BGS that they had new slabs, but they weren't new slabs. They they made a point to turn around and say that they weren't new slabs, even though they made tons of advertising. Um, they had the new website. They had very large uh, displays set up. Uh, it, it wasn't they're going to be their new slabs. They didn't definitely just backtrack after the community the people that choose to grade with Beckett decided that those were those were not cool they didn't do it for them uh so then Beckett I guess it claimed I don't this it's it's like an April Fool's joke uh, that one seven months ago definitely couldn't have been an April Fool's joke and I, I really don't think this one is an early slash late April Fool's joke that we're going to take a look at today uh it just seems like th the company is an absolute disaster uh, I know many people like to joke about how there's only three people that work there, and maybe that's why they never respond to anything. Maybe that's why all of these mistakes happen, because there's uh, there's just not enough BGS employee to go around. I have no idea what this is, but it's an absolute... It's it's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. So we had the website. The, their website sucks, Mean Wiener Babies, uh, and uh, we're going to criticize them for that. Mostly... BGS's criticism in recent times has been the fact that they uh, they'll run specials, but they still don't get back to the customers that they need to fix the issues with, uh, including some where if their package gets lost and BGS has to actually perform actions in order to rectify that situation with the insurance uh, and the shipping company. Uh, then they just don't even get around to that. I, I don't know how you have to pester them for that. It's part of their job. It should be uh, part of their uh, customer service, essentially, does not exist. Uh, beyond, we're not going to go back to the fact that uh, ex-employees were getting black labels every day, all day, in their submissions, tens of black labels only, um, for cards that are probably were pretty difficult to grade. Uh, and no, that's not because they have super eagle eyes and they were a grader before. Black labels are kind of a joke in general. Uh, and it's also kind of a little bit weird that we're seeing more black labels now. Is that kind of like we have CGC who is going to grade anything and everything as an error in order to capture some sort of market share. Uh, and we have BGS who's now maybe going to give a little bit more incentive for people to submit their cards. I don't know what the actual numbers are, what the increase is, but I feel like there's been more black labels popping up now than ever. So is that coincidence? Uh, are the Is the card quality just that much better? Or is it the fact that they just kind of want to hold on to something and give people a reason to submit to them now that it's not uh, the, the pandemic and they don't have free submissions all day every day? Again, guys, we're going to be equally critical and or congratulatory on any of these actions that the grading companies take, but this is just hilarious. I don't know what the hell to make of this. I don't even feel like looking into it more because I don't even know if BGS, what their stance is at any point, um, what the hell they're doing. It's ridiculous. Uh, so here they have the giant. So you're going to you're gonna create these giant slabs for displays and you had no intention of making these your actual new cases, your new slabs. As as we're gonna call it, for the for the for the youth, all those slang doggers that like to call them slabs instead of plastic cases. <laughs> so here again, not our new slabs, but they they went through the effort of making giant trading cards inside giant giant plastic Beckett cases, but they're not they they had no plan in changing the cases. It doesn't make any sense. I know it really really ridiculous. We got a hashtag Slabgate. Uh, and again, I don't, uh, why would you, why wouldn't you just go with your, your standard stuff if this wasn't like a feeler or this wasn't the direction that you planned on going, you don't make giant marketing material that costs, I would say thousands of dollars to make giant crap like this, that you're just getting made out of nowhere. Um, custom cases of some kind, uh, even just the prints themselves are probably pretty expensive because you're not printing them in, in large quantities. So... I don't get it. I I really don't. I don't. I still don't understand that. And that video uh, is going to be linked down below in the description, and we'll do it 
up above here uh, in case you want to go back and watch that. But I still don't understand exactly what's going on. Uh, the most recent incident, and uh, I don't know what it is with Beckett and their giant marketing material, but they love they love to mess it up. They love to go back on whatever they say. Uh, thanks, Auburn35, for posting this. Um, and uh, they say, if legit, it appears Beckett just slapped a 10 sticker over one of the 9.5s from their display, crying face, laughing face. Uh, this attention to detail explains many of their grading website customer service issues. I, I mean, it's pretty, how does this get approved? How does this stuff happen? And how does it go out? How is it, how is it that you're spending all this money on the giant marketing materials and displays and you don't check into it beforehand. You don't like give it a thought, or maybe you just you're just like, oh, what, whatever. We'll we'll just fix it. We'll just slap a ten over top of this. Um, and whether or not, I guess this has to do with their recent. Uh, they decided they were going to, uh, without asking any any of their customers, they were they were going to change their grading scale so that you could get four four nine fives equals a ten, which is weird. And I mean, the subgrades enough uh, as is are kind of a joke. Uh, to begin with, just because uh, if you submit a card in multiple times, the odds of getting the same four subgrades is pretty much non-existent. The same way, I think, if you submit a black label, the odds of it coming back as another black label, even if you don't damage it in any way whatsoever, um, is slim to none. I, again, I've seen black labels that look like absolute dog water. Uh, the centering, not even close to what it should be. I mean, you can look at it across the room, uh, and unless you're covering both eyes, it's not a black label. All right, next. We're like, how? How, do, how does this get approved? How does this get printed? Oh my God, Beckett, what are you doing? What are you, like, what the hell are you doing? Like, you make my job too easy to criticize you guys. I know the other grading companies mess up as well, but like, how, how is this even a conversation? How does this even occur? So here we have the, the breaks who says Beckett leadership confirms they are updating a small piece of their grading scale. Black labels are not changing are safe. The leaked images last night are not our exact new grading scale. So they don't even know. It's like, it's like they show up unprepared. It's like, you know how you get demerits in school for showing up without your school supplies. That's Beckett. I don't, I don't, I really don't understand it. You would think that if you're going to do something as drastic as changing your grading sale with you, you should know in advance that it's going to piss people off because people have been grading cards with you for years. They're, they're not going to be like, oh, cool. So now all my tens are not exactly as valuable because it, it can be nine fives and they get a 10, but black labels are safe. It's just like, we're making up rules as we go. And then we have these like nothing statements um, again, I don't, is this like a stunt just to become like, to, to be, to have something, to have people make videos and or posts or have interactions on posts? I don't know if it's effective or not. I, I can't see it being effective because you just like get people worked up that are already submitting cards to you and everyone else just kind of doesn't give a shit and laughs at you. I don't, I don't get it. So Beckett here says, dear loyal Beckett customers, we are grateful for, or maybe they want to like make it seem like they're listening to their customers. So they like, they mess with shit on purpose. And then they're like, oh, we listen to you customers. We don't worry. We got your back. We should have asked you beforehand, but we didn't so that we could satisfy you after you talk, after you get upset about what we were doing. I, I don't know, guys. You you let me know what your theory is down below. I'd appreciate it because I, I seriously have no... I don't even think... I don't think Beckett knows what's going on at Beckett, let alone me trying to decipher what the hell is going on here. I don't know if it's worth anyone's time to even try to speculate on it because it seems like they're just um, not professional, not prepared, and um, just on just doing shit on a whim. Why not, right? Anyway, back to back to their their little notice here. This was on April first, so I guess I don't think you do you prank people before April first and then like l let them know on April first that they there was an April Fool's joke. I don't think they're doing that right either. Dear loyal Beckett customers, we are grateful for the feedback and insights you have shared with us over the past forty eight hours. Your passion for our brand and hobby is truly remarkable, and we appreciate your support. After listening carefully to the feedback you all shared. We have decided not to make any changes to our grading scale at this time. We will keep you updated with an official announcement later week next week regarding improvements to our grading scale. 
What? What? So wait, you're not making changes, but you're going to make improvements. An improvement, wouldn't an improvement be a change? We thank you for your continued trust and loyalty to Beckett. Please continue to share your thoughts and feedback directly with us. So we got some weird busy work. You see this with companies at times where like instead of resolving the actual issues that they have at hand, aka customer service Beckett, you can thank me later for addressing what the major issue is. I mean, you could just read any of the comments and know that the issue that people have with you is your customer service uh, and and fix that instead of fixing a grading scale, which no one complained about at all, ever, at any point. Instead of spending money and time on giant pieces of display uh, that, <laughs> that don't matter, the changes don't matter, and that you end up just screwing up and backtracking on, you wasted everyone's time and effort on this, and you, sh- you should be just fixing your customer service, is what it comes down to. We got Play by Play Carrots who says, yeah, even though you took a lot of heat initially, I think it was going to be the right move for the long term. No one will equate a 9.5 to a 10 when all the other grading companies use that scale. Change your mind again. Thank you for the feedback. Okay. I, I... Another statement here. We got um, this is April 5th now, so I guess this is the one they promised. Beckett Collectibles says, we appreciate your feedback and want more. Sign up to re- receive our survey. Uh, I hope to God that anyone that wants to grade with this company sends feedback and just says, stop trying to change shit that doesn't matter and deal with customer service. Hire more customer service this other crap, this other changes and stuff like that is not what anyone wants. No one's asking for it. No one needs it. Customer service. Um, I don't care. I'm not going to fill out the survey because I'm never going to grade cards with them. But if I was, if that's uh, something that I wanted to be involved in or do, and if I was a loyal customer, I would be letting them hear it for sure. Beckett says, Dear Beckett community, we appreciate the direct feedback about the proposed changes to the grading scale, and we want more of it. In addition to reading thousands of social media comments made over the past few days, we're launching a hobby-wide survey to understand what you, the collectors, expect from Beckett and from grading. Our company is collector-obsessed, and we want to hear what you think in as much detail as you can share. So, like, this is another weird thing where you're, you're doing surveys, you're doing. You're reading thousands of comments as you claim to be doing here, but there's tons of people with issues and that need things resolved, like missing shipments, lost shipments, stolen shipments, stuff like that, delays, etc. And you, instead of reading that stuff and resolving it, we were going to read comments about how you shouldn't have changed the grading scale, which you should have known in advance was going to upset people more than not. How, like, what? Who out there is going to be like, oh, well, I'm definitely grading with Beckett now. They slightly changed their grading scale. That was definitely the factor that was holding me back. No. People don't want to grade with you because they're afraid they're going to send their crap in there. They're not going to be able to get a response from anyone. And maybe they don't get their stuff back. Maybe they have to spend weeks trying to convince you to contact the shipping company in order to get their stuff back or get their stuff reimbursed or the insurance paid out because you you didn't just call the shipping company and advise them, hey, this got lost or stolen. We need to be compensated for it. I mean, the customer, if you're a professional company, if you're a large company, should be compensated before the shipping company even compensates Beckett. But... The fact that you got to wait around for that, but then you're not doing the actions that are required is is dumb. It's, it's dumb and it's embarrassing. We're also going to meet with collectors across the hobby and we'll be hosting focus groups together. More feedback and comments. Also, please use the link provided to sign up to receive our survey. We appreciate everyone's passion for the hobby and for Beckett. So it's not even a survey. It's just to sign up to sign up to receive a survey that you'll probably get by email at some point. Oh, okay. So we're still, we we're we're investing time into a survey. Um, that should be all kind of done right through your own site. There should be like a leave us feedback here, not just like a standalone survey that isn't developed yet that you got to sign up for that you'll get from an email that they're probably hiring another company to do to write out to accept submissions. Blows my mind. All right, let's read a couple comments here. I am a huge BGS supporter. I've done three orders now, but I believe in the future you could 
over a live watch in on your card being graded. That would be nice. Some small you could change for people would enjoy an option to question or debate any few cards on your order size based. I, I got bad news for you. Um, Macro Turtle, you do not want to see that because they're they're just going to briefly look at it and stick it in a plastic case. It's going to be a 30-second or less ordeal, and people are not going to want to see that. They want to believe there's some kind of magic behind the process. There isn't. It's a spoiler alert. They're pumping it through, and you don't want to see minimum wage Johnny's fingers banging your cards, whether they're mayo-coated, uh, whether he's got some, some long-ass nails, whether he's flicking your stuff around. Uh, given the old uh, bike, bicycle spoke treatment, who knows what they're doing with it. You don't want to see it. Trust me. You definitely do not want to see it. They have a hard enough time taking photos of the cards that are uh, submitted. Um, BGS has a hard time having a functional website. The, the chance of you being able to live watch your cards be fondled for two seconds and tossed in a plastic slab, slim to none. Johnny King says, tell us the truth. Was that whole thing an April Fool's joke? I don't think that counts. I don't think you can prep an April Fool's joke two days beforehand and then be like, surprise, April Fool's extended edition. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Wax Museum Podcast, who says, Jeremy said the giant slab fiasco was a result of their design team who aren't, are not, are not hobby folks. One of the card people at this company going to step in and give some input. Once again, left hand, right hand. So... Um, you would think that there, there's got to be somebody out there that uh, that can do both marketing and likes sports cards or trading cards of some kind, or at least is willing to learn that stuff beforehand. And if not, why, what, what in the hell? Why are they not like running it by somebody before it gets printed onto a billboard? So is this count as a billboard if it's that size? I don't know. You guys, let me know. I have no idea what the hell's going on here. I, I I just figured we'd talk about it because I, if the if it's this much of a mess on the outside, you can only imagine what that that new card cam <laughs> suggestion would reveal. Oh my goodness, guys! Thanks for tuning in. Love you all. Join the Discord, and see you next time.